hello everyone in this video we are going to have the basic understanding about creating jpgs from an adobe illustrator file so there are some basic techniques that you need to know before creating artwork so as you can see that we have a sort of a storybook that have multiple artboards you can see that there are around 20 artboards okay so for creating the jpg from an artboard there are multiple options right let's suppose you just need to form a jpg of this art number artboard number 11 so what you need to do just simply select this artboard and press ctrl shift alt s right once you press it from here you can adjust the format of the file from here you can adjust the size you can scale it up or scale it down depending on the requirement and simply click save and the file will automatically be saved on any of your desired location so that was the first method right to create the jpg from an artboard from an individual artboard okay so the next technique the next technique is to use the export option to create the jpg go to file export expose as and from here you can select jpg okay and from here you have to tick on the use artboards right and select the range let's suppose you want to create the jpg all 20 jpg so let the range be same 1-20 always make sure to click on the range because if you click on the all the graphics that are outside the artboard will also be caught up in any of the jpg image and will not give the desired result so what you need to do you have to press on the range field and then select the range let's suppose you just want to make an a single jpg image so you can simply write six if you want to make multiple jpg images according to your artboard so you can separate it out with commas one five six nine like this if you want to select the range of initial pages let's suppose initially 1-5 and then you just want the last page comma 21 so in this way it will create six jpg images so there are multiple ways to do it we do not have the 21 so let's 1-5 comma 20 so it will create a six artboards from here you can adjust the quality you can adjust the compression method you can also adjust the resolution from here of your desired output and simply click click ok once you press ok the files will be automatically created created and saved in the selected location